Shall we have a look? I, I can't decide. I mean, I absolutely, I, I think you're very photogenic. I love this picture of you. I love the styling. The, the photography's gorgeous. I just think the frown in the mouth might be a little bit too much. I was very excited when you walked up. Very beautiful. It was, it was striking. Striking. And yet I felt like in the film it was the same thing over and over. This frown, this perpetual frown I worked with for a long time. You mentioned the flies. The flies were there for everybody. Yeah. So keep that in mind. They're there for everybody. So it's always up to you to deliver. That said, you, you're a beautiful woman and it's shown in that picture. Frankie, each week we pick you up on your expression. What do you call it, Charlotte? Oh, the old smacked ass face. Smacked ass <laughs> The smacked ass face, yeah. Shall we see how you went? Let's have a look. Hubba bubba mama, smoking in the desert. I think it's extraordinary. The styling's beautiful. You look beautiful. It's scorching hot. All right, Cassie. Now, it's been a big week for you and everybody else in the house around you. Now, you've decided to stay in the competition. Yep. So, are you back on board 100%? Yeah, I'm back on board 100% and I'm going to try and keep my anger levels down and try and, yeah, be really good. Anger management. Because <laughs> you've got an amazing opportunity here. Yeah, I know. So, let's see how you did in your photo shoots, shall we? Oh, that's just so divine. I want to cry. Look at that. <laughs> I actually do. I want to burst into tears. A fantastic editorial. I just think you've um, you've got such potential. So don't take your eye off the prize. Mm. I would say not to rain on the parade, but I will just a little bit. And this is a positive criticism. There's something a little mechanical in your approach. So if you want to get to the next level, you have to just figure out professionally and internally that you really want to do this. Because I felt like you didn't really want to do this. You're like boom, boom, I'm going to get this out of the way, so I'm off this set and I'm done. But I did see some beautiful frames, and you certainly are, are a gorgeous girl. Um, I can't decide if I like or dislike this shot. I think there's something a little bit cheesy about it for me. Can I say, I think the head's great in this and the body's not. They look, they're disconnected. There's something about the bottom part that looks a bit cheesecake and a bit heavy almost. The expression has to be completely physical. Through your whole body, act out the story and play and don't be afraid to take a risk. Because what's lacking here is the risk factor is not there. Oh, yay. Adele, fantastic. Fantastic. I can't tell you how happy this makes me because <laughs> when everybody was saying that you were the one look wonder, I didn't believe it. I really, I just believed that there was something else. You've given that sex, you know, and I just didn't think you'd be able to do that but really. But what kind of sex, sex, Charlotte? Expensive sex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic shoot this week, Russell. Fantastic. Thank you. As I said to Alex, the shoot gave me the parachillness. It was so good. <laughs> it was just that good. Every shot, amazing. But we'll start with Adele, um, who has been in the bottom two or three before in the past, and I'd say would have to be up to the top this week. Yeah, she's, she's smoking hot this week. It's all brand new for her. Amazing. Yeah. All right, Cassie, what a big week for Cassie. Yeah, look, there's so many elements to Cassie that really worry me as far as developing into a professional model, but then, whoa, she just keeps delivering these killer shots. Uh, absolutely, to look at, I mean, visually, she's a great model, but uh, what I can say is I'm begging you, if she doesn't uh, get an attitude adjustment over time, please don't see her through the end, because as a professional, having to deal with people on the other side, it's, it's painful when you see someone that could be so good and they're, they're their own worst enemy. Now, Madison. Oh, my, kill Madison. me now. Kill me oh, no. now. Kill Dis me. Discombobulate. No, kill me. She always has an amazing photo. You know, one no, day, Alex, no. you're going to say, kill me now, and I actually will stand up and kill you. Just <laughs> so you won't say it. Look, do you know what? I told you guys last week, she pulled that one, like, out of a hat somehow. But the, everything there is perfect. Everything. The styling, the photography, the location. She is not. She just doesn't have it. Um, okay, Claire. Great. What can yeah, you I say? love it. I love it. Great. I think it all starts again for her now. It's, it's another level. She's brilliant. You know, you just fine tune her. This girl's on a new, other a professional level, far different than anyone else mm. in the competition. Tani. Oh, Russell. I love this shot. Love it. She's a pretty girl, gorgeous girl. It's got an editorial, strong edge to it. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, that's what it's about versatility. You know, you've got to be able to go the whole range, and she's showing it now. Okay, Frankie. This is my favourite shot of the whole shoot, I've got to say. The Frankie shot. I just think everything works so, so beautifully. Her body looks amazing. She looks relaxed with what she's doing. I think she understands how not to make a shot look like it's soft porn. She's actually made it look really beautiful. Speaking of the male magazine, 
I mean, this photo of Laura is exactly what you see you in a tacky, a tacky male room. magazine. Yeah, but can I just tell you, she should be so happy if she goes home today because she can pop that straight on her Facebook profile page and get lots of hits. That's where that's going. Okay, Lola. That should have been where we just went, oh my God, there it is. Wow. Yeah, tell and us the story because yeah. she's got the stories. Yeah, yeah I, Charlotte, sort of went, I agree. I just I, went, wow. We thought it was magic because we, it was the first time we saw those photographs. But after I saw the rest of them, that's one of the worst ones for me. She just, mm. it, it, it's so a waste of a shot. Other weeks have been much more difficult, but I think we really mm. can see the front runners and the one, the stragglers at the back. Yeah, definitely. I think we're decided on who's yeah. going this week. And yeah. I think we're all decided quite yeah. quickly. Absolutely. This week marks the halfway point in our competition. And while there are some girls who are improving in leaps and bounds, there are others who are either not trying hard enough or maybe they just don't have it. So who should stay and who should go? Will the following girls please step forward to receive their photos? Claire. We thought we would get much of the same, but this week you replaced ethereal with an edgy inner strength. We loved it and we want to see more. Congratulations, you're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Adele. Tani. Cassie. Our Outback Beauty, who finally displayed some professionalism. We're glad you're back on board. Now prove how much you want this. There are other girls who would happily pack your bags for you. Congratulations. You're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Thank you. Frankie. Lola. Lola, what an amazing week. In the desert you told us a really powerful story and you gave us a sneak peek of the strong feminine woman that we have been dying to meet. Please bring her back with you. Congratulations. You're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Will Laura and Madison please step forward? Madison, we gave you an amazing opportunity this week to show us versatility, but all we received was the one distracted frown. We want to believe in you, but we're not convinced you're focused enough to stay in the game. Laura. We loved your facial expression, but your body wasn't delivering in the same way. We think you're 50% there, but halfway through the competition, we need the entire package. The girl whose name I don't call out must walk out that door, grab her bag, board the ute, and head down the highway, leaving the competition immediately. Laura, congratulations. You're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. She lives in a different world. She moves in different circles. She lives in Love you, Maddie. Love you, Maddie. Love you. Left. <laughs> and disappointed like I thought I could make it a bit further in this competition the most likely person to win is probably maybe Claire because you know she's so confident in herself and like she's almost like programmed to win and I think like she'll go very far I just hope I can get back into modeling because it was so much fun I hope I can do it again someday and you have not seen the last of Maddie Wall she'll be out there somewhere <laughs>
like to apologize for the following crimes against fashion. The shock. The horror. The white heels with the too short jeans. Guess who's flunked Fashion 101? Oh, my God. <laughs> Next Tuesday, who's making our models lose it completely? Plus, just when you thought you knew who the favourites were, think again. It's not jeans, darling. She better hope that she gets a good photo. <laughs> Someone's had a good week. <laughs> Who'll make the top six? Your eyes were dead. Brand new Australia's Next Top Model. Next Tuesday, 7.30. Exclusive to Fox 8.